Hello, my name is Ardi, and we are going to find out the problem for dot 45. The question is find the Thevenin equivalent of the circuit in figure 4 dot 112 as seen by looking into terminals A and B. Okay, there are two things that we need to find out, which is the Thevenin resistance and then the Thevenin voltage. I think to find out the resistance that will be more easy, so we need to find it. So the first thing that we need to do is to find out the Thevenin resistance, which is a uh, Thevenin resistance seen from here, the resistance equivalence from here, but with the voltage sources and current sources turned off. So we have a current source here, so we replace this by open circuit because turning off current circuit, meaning that replacing it with open circuit. So Let's draw the equivalent circuit here. We replace this 4 ampere current source with open circuit. And then we will have this 6 ohm resistor. And then we also still have that 6 ohm resistor here. Then what else? We also have this 6 ohm resistor. So we have all three resistor here and this is point a and this is point b so this is the the circuit that we are looking for finding out the rth from this point here and seeing the resistor from this point we can get the rth what is rth rth is equal to six here in parallel with 6 and in series with that 6. So I will have 6 plus 6. So we'll have 6 parallel with 12, right? Let's modify this parallel operator. This is a circuit operator to arithmetic operator. So we will have 6 times 12 divided by 6 plus 12. 6 times 12 is 72. And then 6 plus 12 is 18. 72 divided by 18 is just 4. So we'll have RTH is equal to 4. And the unit here is ohm. Good. Now we have the Thevenin resistance. Let's save this value because we will have it important for the final circuit. Now, the second one is to find out the open circuit voltage or the Thevenin voltage, VTH. And VTH at AB, which is VAB, right? And now let's see if we set this as our ground. So the voltage here will be zero. But then we will know that VAB is the difference between VA and VB, right? But then VB is 0, so VTH is equal to VA. Yes. Alright, so VA is this node here. But then we also have another node from this circuit here. And let's name this node as VC. Now, let's draw the current direction. Maybe for 4 ampere, I will assume it just following that current source and then for the vertical component I just assume it is going down and for the horizontal I just assume it is going to the right so we can do KCL at VC and then KCL at VA let's do KCL at VC first KCL at VC KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Good. Now, the only current that goes in is this 4 ampere. So we'll have 4. And then that will equal to, I will have Vc minus 0 divided by 6. So I'll have Vc over 6. And then I will have plus this current here which is Vc minus Va 
divided by 6. Multiply all of this by 6. So we will have 24. And we will have this 6 will cancel out. PC plus PC minus PA. So we will have this simplified into minus PA plus 2PC is equal to 24. Maybe let's save that as equation number 1. Okay. And now we have two variables. So we need to find out KCL gain at PA. Let's do exactly that. So now we will have KCL at PA. Again, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Good. The only current that goes in is this one. So we will have PC minus PA divided by 6. And then that will equal to PA minus 0, which is PA, divided by 4. Multiply this by what? I think 12 is enough. So we will have 2PC minus 2PA is equal to 3PA. Good. So we will have minus 5PA plus 2PC is equal to 0. Let's have this as equation number 2. And now we have two equation and two variables. We should be able to solve this using calculator, right? So let's set up our calculator as equation solver. Set up and number five. Two variables is number one. Okay. And then the first equation, I will have minus one. And then two and then 24. The second equation, I will have minus five and then 2, and then 0. Good, so I will have PA is equal to 6. PA is equal to 6 volt. And then what is PC? PC is equal to 15 volt. 15 volt. However, remember that VT is equal, is equal to PA. Therefore, we will have VTH is equal to 6 volt 6 and the unit here will be okay and the only thing that we need to do is just to write out i mean the to dry out the tevenin equivalent circuit and i will have that 6 volt as our tevenin voltage and then 4 ohm as our tevenin resistance and then this is point a and this is point b this is the final answer for this problem and that's all thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye